All right, hey, welcome back. Day two of the door cards build. So I got these door cards mounted to the door skins themselves, and now we're gonna start working on the door handles and the levers. Let's get to it. So if you didn't already know, I bought this car as just a rolling chassis, so there was absolutely nothing to it. Um, so what I have got here are both window switches, because I've never actually opened or closed those windows. So these are both from the Switch Doctor. So this is the driver's side, it contains the window lock, the actual door lock as far as the left and right window switch. Passenger side is much more simple, just one window switch. So we'll plug these into the car and see what works or doesn't. Alright, so let's see if these switches work. That's a negative. Window locks or door locks. Well, that much goes. Let's try the passenger side. So this is the passenger side switch. Oh, we're good. All right, I think so. Some of the issue I'm having is the wiring harness on the over on the driver's side. I'll show you what happened to that. This is under the driver's side kick panel where all the wiring goes. And if you can see, these are some cut wires. Don't know why they've been cut. And something has been spliced and electrical taped. So I'm just going to have to dig into that a little bit. So we already established that my window regulator does not work with in connection with the window switch. So the next thing we're going to do is just run two jumper cables. It's just a ground and a positive. And we're going to connect them directly into the connector for the window regulator. Now this particular orientation could make the window go up, then we'll switch it, and this orientation will make it go down. So we're going to see, just verify that the window regulator at this point is still working. There's down, we switched the polarity, and we'll put it back up. There we go. Okay, so now I made a template for the inner door handle, which is also going to house the window switch. I did have to make a provision for the wires to come through, so we're going to transfer this over to aluminum. Okay, here's the initial skeleton part of this handle I'm making. Now, the purpose of this is to hold this single window switch, which this switch does not give me very many mounting options. However, it does have a little push tab here and a push tab there, which I intend to use. And what's going to happen is this will get pushed in. I'm going to make a relief on this side for the push tab to pop out. And now we need something to capture this switch which is the second inner piece of this we're going to make which is going to recess in here we'll have a through bolt on either side i'm probably going to run some rivets through here and probably just dimple dies so everything matches and this tab will now meet this edge of the panel all right so here's this handle again and now here is the inner piece that slides in And you see how that's going to work. 
And then right here is where it's going to box in that switch. So this is the driver's side handle, which is very similar to the passenger side. The only difference we made is how to make it just a little bit wider to recess the switches in here. So this is another two-piece two mounting system, just like the passenger. And on the inner handle, and there you see that's how it's going to bolt together, and then we'll bolt it to the door. Okay, so a simple safety con concern we needed to address was the locking mechanism. Now this is a switch mechanism for the locks. However, if power goes out, we're going to get stuck in the car. So I added this lever. You're going to be able to reach through the um, dimple dies, and this is just going to actuate the lock or unlock just in case there's a power outage. Additionally, we need a door handle over here. So the simple solution to that is just some cable with some silicone hose. We're going to pop this through the actual door card and this will be our pull handle. All right, I got these door cards put on. Here's passenger side. This is a smaller handle. And this is the, the hidden door lock I mentioned earlier. It's back there just enough to do the job. Let's go look at the driver's side. All right, onto the driver's side. Pretty much the same thing, just the bigger door handle and light switch combination. All right guys, there goes some door cards for the MR2. Please let me know what you think in the comments and please like and subscribe my videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.